Shetani alikuwa ameweka kama vizuizi. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mungu ni Mungu wa maajabu sana ndugu zangu wapendwa. Tafakari saa hii ni Disemba. Mungu amekulinda tangu Januari. Kama mwanadamu unatarajia kuona muujiza mwingine, ni muujiza upi ambao mwanadamu utatafuta? Huo ni muujiza tosha. Tangu Januari hadi Disemba. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tashinda kutafuta mimi sijafanywa muujiza, sijafanywa muujiza wowote. Lakini huo ni muujiza tosha. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mungu amekulinda tangu Januari. Hii ni Disemba hii. Miezi yote hii ni mangapi Mungu amekuepusha nayo. Ukitafakari huko kote Mungu amekutoa, utaona ni muujiza mkubwa. Mimi nashukuru Mungu mwanzilishi aliye ndani ya mtumishi wake Emmanuel Kia Mzungu wana ushuhuda mfupi tu mimi kama kijana ambao tunavojua vijana wengi sasa mimi nilikuwa na hali ambao ukishikia huu naomba mkae kidogo ambao ukisikia huu ushuhuda unaweza ni ushuhuda tu hafifu lakini kwangu mimi ni ushuhuda mkubwa sana nilikuwa na hali nyingine ya kunyoa si kwamba niliambiwa ni dhambi lakini nilikuwa nikinyoa huku kando nidabakisha hapa katikati ah najiona basi mimi niko sawa kabisa sijawahi ambiwa na mzazi wewe mbona unanyoa hivi sijawahi ambiwa na mubiri yoyote wewe mbona unanyoa hivi lakini nikiwa huko shule katika harakati nikakutana tu na ndugu mmoja akaniambia mmm wewe ndugu mbona unanyua kama kuku ah, nikashangaa haya kumbe mimi nami nanyua kama kuku jamani hakuniambia kuwa ni dhambi lakini sasa aliponiambia wewe ndugu mbona unakaa kama kuku hicho kichwa ah sasa hakuniambia nikanyoe lakini mimi nikakaa nikatafakarili neno jamani kumbe mimi nikinyoa hivi nanyua kama kuku jamani sasa tangu hiyo siku nikajua ah nikaanza kunyoa vinye mimi naniona siku hii ya leo. Haku ni approach tena kaniambia wewe ndugu ulikuwa unanyoa kama kuku sasa hii unakaa kijana mzuri. Sasa huu shuhuda huu ninasema kihivi kwamba wewe unaweza kuwa kama kijana uko katika hali hali za mavazi. Lakini unaweza mzazi hakwambii kitu. Maana kuna hali nyingine ni kwamba mzazi anaweza eh hey, huyu mtoto wangu jamani anaweza mwambia hivi azire chakula hata kula mwezi mzima lakini yule mzazi hajaridhika na ile hali 
ni hali ya mavazi ni hali ya mwenendo wako kama mwana lakini unaweza ah, sasa mzazi mzazi wangu haniambii wewe ni nani uje uniambie lakini ule mzazi unaweza kwamba haridhiki na mwenendo wako haleluya sasa unaweza unakuwa katika masomo yako unaona hali si nzuri lakini huyu mzazi hujamfurahisha sasa mimi kumbe nilikuwa sifurahishi mzazi wangu kwa hii chonga yangu ambayo ilikuwa nikinyoa kama kuku sasa nashukuru Mungu tangu hiyo siku sinyoe kama kuku tena haleluya amen amen unaweza kuwa hapo useme huyu na ye, uu ni ushuhuda gani huu sawa huo ni ushuhuda ambao mimi nashukuru Mungu Mungu ameniajalia sinyoe kama kuku haleluya amen amen, amen. amen. katika mtumishi wake Emmanuel Kea Muzungu Nashukurani kwa sababu hatukufika hapa kwa uwezo wetu au kwa nguvu zetu We are grateful because we have not come here through our own strength Ni uwezo wake Mungu Baba It is the power of God the Father Aliye Mungu wa mwanzilishi Who is the God of the founder katika mtumishi wake In his servant Ametulinda He has secured us kutoka sehemu mbalimbali coming from different areas Tulizokuwa where we are au tulizokuwa tukifanya shughuli zetu where we were doing our works lakini tumelindwa then we have been secure we have kufika tukiwa salama we have been enabled to come here safely nikijua leo ni siku ya maombi knowing that today is a thursday maombi haya this prayers makanisa ni mengi kenya we have many churches in kenya lakini hakuna kanisa but then there is no church which has set aside a day ya kuweza kuwaombea watu that they go there to pray for other people neno hili amepewa mtumishi wa Mungu mwanzilishi this word was given to the founder of this church alitiwa hizo huruma ndani yake those masses were put in him kuwa na siku that there should be a day ya watu kuwaombea wengine where people pray for other people akapewa na Mungu was given by God hi. this day akapewa na Mungu he was given by God sanyike that people should gather ajili ya shida za watu for the purpose of the problems of other people kwa ajili ya matatizo ya watu for the purpose of the problems of other people niposa siku ya leo tuko hapa that's why today we are here tumeletwa na maombi brought here for the purpose of prayer tukapata kuwaombea that may be able to pray hii sanduku imejaa barua hii this box is full of prayer request wote all wamemkimbilia mtumishi wa Mungu are running toward the servant of God Emmanuel Kea Muzungu Emmanuel Kea Muzungu wameleta barua zao they have brought their prayer request wakijua mtumishi wa Mungu knowing that the servant of God yeye husikiwa na Mungu is normally heard by God kwa hiyo tunapopeleka barua zetu so when we take our prayer request there ajapo, ajapoomba yeye when he kneels down to pray Mungu wake humsikia his God hears him tena sisi tukapata haja za mioyo yetu and we shall all get our desires hiyo ndio sababu that is the reason we have gathered here this evening tumeletwa na kuomba we have been brought and beseeching tukiwa chini while we are ya mtumishi wa Mungu the servant of God Emmanuel Kea Muzungu Emmanuel Kea Muzungu tuko chini yake we are all under him kuomba praying kwa ajili ya wote wenye shida hawa for the purpose of all those who have problems wakapate kupewa haja za mioyo yao so that they may be able to get their desires hivyo tusiende mbali so let me not go far maana tunapokuja maombi because when we come here for prayer hatufikii kuomba we don't come here just to pray tuna maneno tunapewa we have some word that we are given na yule aliyeinuliwa by the one who has been raised mtumishi wa Mungu by the servant of God yeye hupewa he is normally given maneno word ya kutuongoza kwanza which will guide us first ya kutufundisha kwanza to teach us first hata tunapoenda maombini so that when we go down praying maombi hayo those prayers yatasikiwa may be heard maombi hayo those prayers yatasikiwa may be heard tena yatatimizwa and they will be fulfilled kwa chini while we are all under wa Mungu. the servant of Emmanuel god kea mzungu. Emmanuel kea mzungu sasa kuna yule aliyesimamishwa so there is that one who has been made to stand leo. today 
Pastor Rimba. Pastor Rimba. Tumkaribishe. Let us all welcome him. Aje atuongoze. So that he can come and guide us. Omba, on how we are going to pray. Mungu amwanzilisha akaweze kusikia. That the God of the founder mother may be able to hear. Karibu pastor. Welcome pastor. Utuongoze. Come and guide us. Maombi. In this prayer. Maana tuko hapa kwa ajili so, ya kuomba. Because we are all here for the sake of prayer. Karibu pastor. Welcome pastor. Amen. Amen. Wasalimu katika jina kuu la Bwana Yesu. Jioni njema. It's a good evening. Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi ametupa nafasi tena jioni ya leo. God of the Father Mother has been given us a chance today. Kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake ametuleta pamoja. By the prayers of his servant he has brought us together. Kwa ajili ya ibada ya maombi. For the purpose of a service of prayer. Mimi ninapotoka nyumbani kwangu When I normally come from home, I don't have a guarantee of standing here. I always pray that the God to enable me to listen to his servant. In fact, when the elder began, I thought he would proceed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the servant of God Yeye ndiye husema. He normally says. Kwa hivyo huwa hatumuongozi sisi. We are not the one who are leading him. Kila mmoja utoka nyumbani mwake hajui ni lipi leo litakuwa. Everyone comes from his home not knowing what will happen. Hata tunapokuwa hapa na mzeezia. So when we are here with elder Zia Wanakuambia mimi nikutoka nyumbani kwangu. That's why I tell you. Bwana nasema Bwana nijalie kusikiliza mtumishi wako siku hii. I always say God enable me to listen to your servant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana wazee hawa ndio wamenilea because these are the elders who brought me up. Sasa napona wanakaribisha. So when I see they are inviting or welcoming me. Wanajua ni neno limetoka kwa mtumishi wako. I normally know that is a word that has come from the servant of God. Nami humuomba Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi. And I pray to the God of the pale ninapotumwa, wherever I am sent. Kinywa changu hiki, my mouth kisizie ninalohimizika kulinena mbele za washirika. Should not stop anything that the spirit of God instruct me to say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo tumeletwa kwa ajili ya ibada ya maombi. So we have been brought here for the purpose of prayer. Na basi Jumapili ya juzi. So the last Sunday Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi God of the founder mother Alinena kwa nguvu nyingi spoke with a lot of power Mwanadamu kweli surely human beings to chombo we are vessels bora ujiache huru provided you just let yourself free Hata naambiwa njoo hapa even I'm told come here Kile neno nilonjia ni lile la mtumishi wa Mungu aliyotupa kurudia Mungu The word that I preach here is the word that Mana if he has not given another word he has done that. That. and the revelation that God gave on that Sunday, that revelation had a great power to save all of us and us. for the whole week I've never sat with the servant of God. I came from home on Saturday I came from home on Saturday night I desire at least that tomorrow Basi. I will listen to the servant of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Mimi na heshima sana nyumba ya mwanzilishi. He very much honor the house of God. Lakini neno hata niite nasho ni kwa haraka njoo hapa. But the word came to me that I should Mimi call nasho. Mimi mwenyewe hapo nilishangaa. I personally was surprised. Bora niamrishe mjukuu wa mwanzilishi aje. Why did I instruct that they don't the Mungu alikuwa analenga nini? I don't know what the aim of God. Anataka aokoe nini? I don't know what God wanted Wezo to say. Wewe ndio kwa jina la Yesu. So I'm beseeching in the name of Jesus. Mwacheni roho afanye kazi. Let the spirit to do his work. Mwacheni roho afanye kazi. Let the spirit to do his work. Usingilie kazi za roho. Do not interfere with the work of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know what God wanted si to say. It's not something si that I have done. I didn't see with the servant of God. Na hivi, na hivi, na hivi. That he told me go and say this and that, and that. For the, the whole week I was at home there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let God do his work. Hallelujah. 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 You will be saved. 
Amen. Amen. Let the Spirit do His work. Because His aim is to have an expected end. Hallelujah. 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 That's why we have been brought here this evening for the purpose of the While we are all behind the servant of God, because his thoughts are good towards all of us. Hallelujah. 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 Let us clap to the God of the founder mother. Let us read from the book of 2 Corinthians 5. Eight and ten. Eight to ten. Lakini tunamoyo mkuu. Nasi tunaona ni afadhali kutokuamu katika mwili na kukaa pamoja na buwana. Kwa hiyo, tena, ikiwa tupo hapa, au ikiwa hatupo hapa twajitahidi kumpendeza yeye kwa maana imetupasa sisi sote kudhihirishwa mbele ya kiti cha hukumu cha Kristo ili, kat, ili kila mtu apokee ujira eh, sorry apokee ijara ya mambo aliyoyatenda kwa mwili kadri alivyotenda kwamba ni mema au Mabaya. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor that, whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we shall all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. More especially verse 8. Anasema, he is saying. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 8. Lakini tunamoyo mkuu. Nasi tunaona ni afadhali kutokuamu katika mwili na kukaa pamoja na buwana. We are confident I say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Anasema laki tunamoyo mkuu. He's saying we are confident. Nasi tunaona ni afadhali kutokuwemo katika mwili. So we'd rather be absent from the body. Na kukaa hapa moja na buwana. But to be present with the Lord. Read verse 9. Kwa hiyo, tena, ikiwa tupo hapa, au ikiwa hatupo hapa, tuajitahidi kumpendeza yeye. Wherefore, we labor that, whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. Amen. Amen. So, what is Paul saying? We are so confident that we see rather to be absent in the body, but to be present with the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tunamoyo mkuu, we are confident tuwapo hapa when we are here au tusipokuwa hapa or when we are not here. Tunajizoeza kumpendeza Mungu. We are practicing to please God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mkristo mwingine yeye and Christian means anajizoeza kupendeza Mungu yuko katikati ya waongofu wenzake. He is practicing to please God when he is in Bele the midst of us. Bele za wanadamu wanamuona. Before the eyes of human beings see him. Bele za macho ya wanadamu wanamsikia anayozungumza. Before the eyes of human beings who hear him talking anakuogopa. You have that fear. Lakini kwamba anaogopa Mungu. But it's not that you are fearing God. Anaogopa wanadamu. You are fearing the human being. Ana hofu ya wanadamu. You have fear of the human being. Lakini hana hofu ya Mungu. But you don't have the fear of God. Maana mwenye hofu ya Mungu. Because anyone who has the fear of God. Awe machoni kwa wanadamu. Whether you are before the eyes of men. Awe kando na wanadamu. Or maybe you are away from human beings. Anajizoeza kukaa pamoja na. You are practicing to be present with the Lord. Maana moyoni mwake. Because in your heart you have a spirit that fears God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So to be in the body or to be absent from the body it depends on what spirit is in you do you have the spirit that fears God or the spirit of fear before God that is the spirit that will secure you because what will human beings do to you hallelujah hallelujah whether I see you or not seeing you if you are unable to have the spirit of fear of God whether you are here or you are not here it will give you the fear of not doing evil. It will secure you from doing evil. Amen. Amen. Because what you are seeing are the eyes of God not the eyes of human beings Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What you are seeing are the eyes of God and not eyes of human beings. Truly, there are no safe people seeing me. There is no human being seeing me. But if you are able to have the spirit of God, that one will secure you wherever you may be. When you begin talking things that are not correct, that will enable you to return to God quickly. Amen. Because you have the spirit of fear of God. Why are you fearing human beings? What will they do to you? Fear him who has power to kill and to revive. The one who is able to curse and bless. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He can revive. And he can also kill. He can bless. And again he can curse. Now you have been given a tithe by somebody. Take this one to the saved brothers. When you see you can eat such money and the sun rises from the east and goes to the west, the thing you're missing is the spirit of fear of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody who has the fear of God has that fearing. Can I spend truly this money? that I take it to my house you will be ready to stay without food but you be faithful that spirit will make you to be faithful if you are unable to have the spirit that fears God Hallelujah. So just to be told, don't be in the flesh when you are here or maybe you are not here it is okay. But the thing that will secure you, you should be enabled to have the spirit that fears God. Because God is saying, I am a holy God. And you shall also be holy as I, my, your father, is holy. And the thing that can secure you, that we may do the will of God, when we are here or we are not here, it is the spirit of the fear of God. Hallelujah. 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 Surely. That is the thing that secured me at the conference center. It secured me in school for four years. Sometimes I sit and be surprised. These are the prayers of missionary and his, prayer, his preachers. It is not my strength. I was a youth. Kilifi town, the way it was. Those years, 1978. I was led going to school. That the time I had gone to four one. Kilifi had so many women. Brown, black, tall, and short. Wanono, fat wanbamba. ones and slim ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they were working with Kilifi Kashonat. In the evening they come from the factory. This is the time they go to the bathroom. And then they go to the village looking for venison. So one day I had come from buying paraffin. 
I was together with my fellow two boys who are Gentiles. But I gone out to buy paraffin. And I had left them cooking. And the houses were just in the neighborhood. So I was in one street. I was now returning mbele, after buying the I had there there are two bars. When they looked behind, they saw me coming. I was a young boy. So the part is now when you are Two walking together, you have already finished the path. And again, they held the hand, each other holding the hand. So they had blocked the whole path. Then something came into my heart. That missionary had prayed. One day, I don't know, there were four ladies or seven. Seven women followed one man. They told him, we don't need your clothing. We don't need your food. We are tired of prostitution. Moving around here and there. We just want to be called by your name. If I'm asking who is your husband, then I say it is Mr. Ndegwa. Instead of going around here wondering, seven women. Then that word came to me. Hallelujah. If you are unable to receive the man of God, you will always have the weapon wherever you go. So that word came to yes, me. Maybe these are the ones. Okay, they are holding me and they have seen me coming. So why are they blocking me? They want to wrestle me. So God assisted me. The spirit of fear of God. I tightened the cup of that they never knew they were walking and they were on your marks. Then I said, On your marks. And I truly did that. Get steady. Go. Go. So they never knew I was coming. They were holding each other. I aimed at the middle of their hands. I hit them. Oh, you are fooling fellas. I never looked behind. Corner. Took the corner, corner gate inside my house. I had run away from sin. Because sin, you must run away from it. I don't know how they fell down there. I don't know they, how they were hiding. But those boys told me, why are you bringing the paraffin? I said, I was just bringing the paraffin. And we were using the kitchen lamp. From one to form four. From one to form four. There was no electricity in that house. I was using the kitchen lamp. And again, we passed the examination. Hallelujah. What secured me? The fear of God. Missionary Mimi. Missionary. Is in Mariakani. Then I close the school. Then I go and shake his hand with his hand. Hallelujah. If you are unable to have the fear of God, it will secure you wherever you go. Hallelujah. 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 Surely. It will protect you to receive Neno the word of God. A word I've been spoken, you don't when know where it came it up. Angoje. Whosoever has the fear of God will wait. He does not put his own word Mana there. Because the one working there is the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kama hujui yake, if you don't know the meaning today, you know it tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read from verse 8 to 9. Lakini tunamoyo mkuu. Nasi tunaona ni afadhali kutokuamo katika mwili na kukaa pamoja na Bwana. Kwa hiyo tena ikiwa tupo hapa au ikiwa hatupo hapa twajitahidi kumpendeza yeye. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor, 
that whether present or absent we may be accepted of him Oh brother one time you are saved another time you backsliding Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One time you're loving your wife. Another time you're filled with bitterness. The thing you're missing is the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody who has the fear of God has the judgment of God coming to him. He'll obey the judgment of God. Hallelujah. You are beginning to speak some things which are not correct. Then you feel something is restraining you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You feel you are restrained. That's why you should be hungry to be unable to have a spirit that fears God. And that is a gift you are given by God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It saved Joseph. He didn't partake in sin. He was a young man. Blood is running. He was alone. But he saved him. He agreed to be insulted to be taken to prison, to be called a fool, fear of God, hallelujah, is a great security. Read for us the book of 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, The place we read yesterday. Nineteen six and seven. Makadi, Angalieni, Muyafanyayo, Kwakua, Hamuyafany, Hamuyafany, Hamufanyi mwanadamu hukumu ila bwana naye yupo pamoja nanyi katika neno la hukumu basi sasa hofu ya bwana na iwe juu yenu angalieni mkaifanye kwa maana kwa bwana Mungu wetu hapana uovu wala kujali nafsi za watu wala kupo, kupokea zawadi and say to the judges, take heed what you do, for you judge not for man, but for the Lord who is with you in the judgment. Wherefore, now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it, for there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Amen. Amen. And you are saying you are a Lord. But the Lord God is Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are saying you have the Lord. But he is the Lord of Lords. He does not look at somebody's soul. Neither does he accept evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's saying if this is the case, you should have the fear of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You should have the fear of God. That is now the time you'll be able to oppose sin and to love each other as brothers and to separate yourself from evil. Because we are not able on our own strength. The one who enables us is the Lord. Jesus through his spirit. Amen. Amen. That's why he's saying. You should have the fear of the Lord. He does not look at somebody's countenance. That's why Paul returned to God quickly. He remembered that as a contrary, an official before his people. 
Asema ndugu nisameheni. Then he said brothers forgive me. Kweli imeandikwa. Truly it is written. Usimunene mkuu wa watu mabaya mbele za watu wao. Do not speak ill of anybody before his own people. Ya mungu hii, that is the fear of God in him. Ya mungu hii. That was the fear of God. Akusema ah. He never said no. Basi ni kweli huyu amefanya makosa. Because truly he has done a mistake. Hofu ya ya Mungu ndani ya Paulo the fear of God inside Paul kufanya arudie Mungu haraka jamani ni kweli made him return to God quickly truly forgive me i've made a mistake mwana alitambua huyu ni mkuu wa watu because i've recognized he's an official senior man amen amen ni munena manyonge mbele za watu wa and i spoke ill of him before his people hallelujah hallelujah akamrudia Mungu haraka so he returned to god quickly na Mungu anasema and god is saying mimi ni bwana wa mabwana i am the lord of lords wewe ukiwa mwanadamu chini ya jua if you are a human being under the ikiwa sun yesu if jesus alipojua yuko mwilini when he knew he was in the flesh anaitwa mwana wa Mungu and he's called the son of god alipojua yeye yuko mwilini when he knew he was in the flesh kama mwanadamu wote like all other human beings akusikamana na kule kuitwa mwana wa Mungu he did not partake with that being called son of god hata akose kutambua watu that he Mr. to recognize people kinasema chuo the bible is saying alishuka chini he descended na akakubali manyonge yote and he accepted all weaknesses alipojua yuko mwilini when he knew he was in the flesh amen amen yeye ndiye bwana wa mabwana and he is the lord of lords lakini alipokuwa katika mwili huu wa kibinadamu but when he was in this body of a human being hakuhesabu kule kuwa mwana wa Mungu he didn't take it that the son of god kwamba ni kitu cha kusikamana nacho is something to cleave with hata atukani aseme mbona mwanitukana that he should be insulted and to question hata why you are so aseme mbona mwanidharau that he is despised and to question why you are so mwanadamu he knew that i'm a human being lakini akaangalia but then he looked yale wanayonitukana nayo all the things that are insulting me for alipojua ni kwa sababu when he knew it was because anayafanya mapenzi ya baba i am doing the will of the father ambayo hao ndani mwao mna ibilisi which in them there is the devil they are vita that's why they are fighting hakuacha kunena na mungu he never stopped speaking the word of god wala wale waliomtukana jana walipokuja neither those who insulted him yesterday came haya kama wewe mwana wa mungu tuponyee huyu if truly your son of god healed this man hakuregesha kisasi he didn't revenge anything bona jana mlinitukana that why did you insult me yesterday Oh huyu ana mgonjwa. Oh this one is a sick man. Ah, simama. Okay stand up. Ana simama. And then he stands up. Hao wanasema hao wapi? The same people they say no. Lakini akajua hao ndugu zangu hao. But then he knew this brothers. Si wao. They are not the ones. Yule ibilisi ndani. It is the devil in them. Akawapenda. So he loved them. Akashukuliana nao. He akashukuliana nao. Yeah, he bear with them. Kama sisi ambavyo tumelelewa na mama mwanzilishi. Like the way I've been brought up by the founder mother. Amen. Amen. Tukiwa na manyonge mengi. Having so many weaknesses. Missionary akatulea. Missionary brought us up. Mama mwanzilishi akatulea. And the founder mother also brought us up. Ndio maana tuko hapa. That's why we are all here. Tukafikia kuona Mungu kuwa na wema huu wote. We reach an extent of seeing God with all this goodness. Na ndio leo mtumishi wa Mungu anavyotulea. And that's exactly how the servant of God yeah, is yeah, doing it today. Yeye anataka ya mtu. Even if you take anything this one, huu, this one has this weakness and this one has this weakness. Humuoni akikasirika. Aki you don't see him being annoyed. Anasema haya muacheni. He says just leave him. Tumuombe Mungu. Let us pray to God. Mungu atamuokoa tu. And God will save him. Ana roho ya kulea yeye. He had the spirit of bringing us. Haleluya. Haleluya. Maana ndani mwake because in him una roho ya hofu ya Mungu. There is the spirit of fear of God. Haleluya. Haleluya. Itakulinda hiyo. It will secure you. Wapo wapa. When you are here. Usipokuwa. And when you are not here. Inakupa kujali. It gives you to be careful. Inakupa kutambua. It makes you to recognize. Inakupa kuogopa. It makes you to fear. Amen. Amen. Inakupa kujali it makes you to be cautious inakupa kuogopa and gives you fear neno limezungumzwa ulielewi inakupa kuogopa jamani what been spoken you don't understand it but Bana it gives you to fear wapi. because you never know where it's coming from inakupa kuogopa so it gives you to fear sije nikaona na juu ya roho wako all lest i speak upon the spirit of god kiwa na hofu ya mungu when you have the fear of god amen amen tutaliombea ile jambo juu ya mungu we are going amen. to pray for this thing mungu ajalie kanisa that god enable the church Roho yenye hofu ya Mungu. The spirit that has the fear of God. Tangu mkubwa paka mdogo. From the big ones and to the small ones. Walio hapa hata walio nje. Those who are here and even those who are outside. Awajalie roho yenye hofu ya Mungu. That God may enable them to have the spirit of fear. Awajalie roho ya kumuogopa Mungu. That God may enable them to have the spirit that fears God. Somae tumalize waraka wa Petro wa kwanza. Read for us that we wind up. 
the when epistle of Peter that we go to prayers. When we jamani, that we go to prayers, my dear. God is thinking good of us. And the servant of God has prayed na manyumba, that we have houses na magari, and cars. Na yote tumeona ya meanza. And we have all seen that is beginning. And the devil is so envious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You read for her. First, first epistle of Peter, chapter 1, verse 17. Seventeen to nineteen. Na ikiwa mnamuita baba, ye ya hukumuye kila mtu pasipo upendeleo kwa kadri ya kazi yake, enendeni kwa hofu katika wakati wenu wakukaa hapa kama wageni. Nanyi mfahamu kwamba mlikombolewa si kwa vitu vyaribikavyo kwa fedha au dhahabu mpate kutoka katika mwenendo wenu usiofaa mlioupokea kwa baba zenu. Bali, bali kwa damu ya thamani kama ya mwana kondoo asiye na ila asiye na wa yani ya Kristo Honor all men love the brotherhood fear God honor the king servant be subject to your masters with all fear not only to the good and gentle but also to the forward for this is thankworthy if a man for conscience towards God and do a grief suffering wrongfully Amen. Amen. Abisa jamani. Surely. Tena ukianza 16 anasema 16. When you begin from verse 16 anasema he says, kwa maana imeandikwa. He says because it is written. Mtakuwa watakatifu. You shall be holy people. Kwa mimi ni mtakatifu. Because I'm also holy. Hallelujah. 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 Kwa kuwa kwa maana imeandikwa. Because it is written. Mutakuwa watakatifu. You will be holy. Kwa kuwa mimi ni mutakatifu. Because I am holy. Angalia ahadi hiyo hiko. Now look the promises there. Ya wewe na mimi tuliaidiwa watu wewe watakatifu. For you and me it was promised that we be holy. Kwa hivyo si haki yawe ndani mwako. So evil things are not supposed to be in you. Uadui si haki uwe na ndani mwako. And enemy is not supposed to be in you. Tuliitwa tutakaswe. We were called to be sanctified. Kama baba Mungu alivyo mtakatifu. As our father God is holy. Kama bwana wetu Yesu alivyo mtakatifu. As our holy as our Jesus is holy. Ndio silaha. That is the weapon. Ya kutulinda sisi. To secure us. Ni roho iogopayo Mungu iwe ndani. It is the spirit that fears God to be in us. Wapo, wapo. When you are here, Au, wapo, inje. or maybe you're outside, Unaona, mungu but you see that God Bona is singing me. Na Why should I insult a neighbor and Bona God is singing me? Why should I beat my wife? It is during the night, Hata tuko, tuko kwa rumu yetu ya kulala. we are inside our room, bedroom, ya makwazo. but then she has offended na me. Na but when I beat her, la baba mungu. is that coming from a father God? Mwenye hofu ya mungu. Anybody has the fear of God you find him folding his hands he agrees to be a fool that should be ridiculed by the wife he has strength to beat her but if you are able to have the spirit that fears God you find that you are folding your hand hallelujah you are fearing him whose eye is not seeing you that you Work for the ceiling. It is passing through all the ceiling. And he's seeing you right in your room that you are fighting your wife. So judgment is coming. Why are you doing this? Amen. Amen. I, I said you forgive. Then you pardon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So anybody who has the spirit that fears God, you find that he's strengthened to forsake. But if you are alone, then you see who is seeing me here. You are going to slap her, and then you make her to swear that if I hear you have spoken this outside, and pastor has known them, you know, you find that she's here. But the preacher giving an example, not aiming at him. When he goes home, 
Why was he testifying? Where was he getting And maybe it was just the spirit of God speaking, not aiming at you. Maybe the pastor does not know anything about you. And it is the spirit testifying that anybody who has the fear of God does not search who has said that. The fear of God gives you to accept your sin. Whether it's me or not me, it makes you to repent. Makes you to return to God. Amen. Amen. If you hear any witness saying, and then you are searching as to who has taken that, the meaning is you don't have the spirit of salvation of you your God. That God. is the spirit of perdition. You should Umu reject it. You pray to God to give you the spirit of salvation. Why are you fearing human beings? Well, you, you, to you. Are you. you are blessed. They cannot take away your blessings. And you are cursed, you are problems, they cannot remove them from you. Fear God. Who has the power to kill and revive? Who has power to curse and to bless? Then you fear him. When you are here or not here. That spirit is good when you have it. Amen. So we pray this evening. This evening. The God to enable us, the church, and even those who are outside, the spirit of fear of God, the spirit of fear of God, fear of God to be created in you, to the girls and the boys, mothers and elders, hallelujah, preachers and faithful, hallelujah, that spirit should be created in every one of us. Hallelujah. 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 Then are you right that we got down praying that way? And the prayer requests are here. Mungu. Go to fulfill their desire. They brought their Christ before the servant of God. Having faith, they'll be healed of their problem. And let us not forget the Mungu prayer again, that the God to save the child against anything that's not good in the midst of people of God, kanisa, in the church, nzi, and in the whole world, anything that's not good Mungu that God to save us from that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the servant of God, Emmanuel Kiam We tell the Lord, thank you for the good work of healing. And we tell the Lord again, fulfill that work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Wycliffe's mother has also made a call. She is down all the whole week. She said, remember me in prayer. The Lord has begun the work of healing me. We pray to the Lord to complete the healing in her. Because she has requested. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's teaching you, let us kneel down and pray to God.
I've remembered another thing, the locusts. They have invaded some areas in Malindi. Nyule. Brother Nyule's farm is invaded. Amen. Amen. When we kneel down, let us pray to the God of the Father. We heard of them there. Today we have them this side. They have been seen on top of trees. I've remembered. I've put it in prayers. But I forgot to tell you. So when you kneel down there, Amen. Amen. Just be behind the servant of God. Because he has also known that. Hallelujah. That go to save us from that calamity. Close our eyes. We believe all prayers God has fulfilled in the name of Jesus. One sister for a closing prayer. Umetupenda bwana umehusika na roho zetu tangu jana umeona bwana tumekaa mwilini tumeenda kimwili bwana tunaishi kimwili tumekosa hofu yako bwana Yesu tumekosa hofu yako Mungu mkuu ndio kila wakati bwana tuko kinyuma cha mapenzi yako lakini bwana utukuza kwa sababu umetulilia bwana tangu jana roho wako mtakatifu bwana amefanya bidii na roho zetu na maisha yetu na nyumba zetu na vizazi vyetu bwana ili kwamba Mungu tukiwa na hofu tukikupendeza wewe bwana jina lako litatukuzwa na shukuru bwana kwa sababu umeliponya kanisa lako umetia hofu yako kila mahali kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina lako sante bwana Yesu kwa kazi njema ambayo bwana alianza ndani ya mtumishi wako nami ni mwokozi utaikamilisha kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina lako bwana na yote ambayo bwana tumeba kwa ajili ya barua tuamini Mungu mwema siku zote wamsikia mtumishi wako bwana umejibu vilio vya kila mmoja hata hawa nyama lengile mali hapo hawa dudu lengile mashamba yale bwana Yesu tawakemea maana unamsikia mtumishi wako siku zote bwana Yesu finika nyumba ya mwanzilishi wako kwa utukufu wako na nyumba ya mtumishi wako bwana kaifinike mnanaji naye bwana nyumba yake kamfinike na kumpa nguvu kila wakati kwa ajili ya kanisa lako baba tufumwe kwa amani tulaze kwa amani nani katika jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu amen amen, amen. amen. Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi awabariki sana sana sana. Amen. 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 Amen.